eight hours later. What are your emotions and your thoughts right now? Oh, very, very happy, very excited, very grateful. We really want to thank uh, the, uh, the city council, obviously, for this positive vote. We want to thank everyone who came out and uh, really showed their support for uh, this project, for this organization, and for the vision. This is step one. We know that uh, the council made it very clear that this begins that process, and we're very excited about it. Tonight's the night to really give thanks and be humble and be grateful, and then the work starts tomorrow. And uh, we think this project is incredibly compelling. Uh, we do believe that it is absolutely the iconic and transformative project uh, for uh, the city of Tempe. And again, we really want to thank uh, the city officials and the city council for their support and for their approval. Governor, you said you've been in many city council meetings. How did this one differ from the past? <laughs> well, um, they're, they're like this, and, they, and you understand the importance of it, because the people need to feel that they have the right to come out and say what they want to say. And um, every single time, it's always, it's, it's always a little different. I don't want to do any more of these. I want this to be over, and we want to get this going in the right direction. And, and as Javier said, this is the first step. We know that we have more, and we know that we're going to be part of it. We want to work with the city. We want to do everything we can to answer their questions and answer the people's questions, too. We want this to be a building and a development for everybody, somebody that everyone's proud of. And that's what Javier and Mr. Murillo have put so much time and effort into doing that. We look forward to it. You're in the negotiation process now, Javier. What is, uh, what's the next step? What does that negotiation process actually look like? I think we're going to regroup internally, and I really want to also acknowledge our, uh, our attorney here, Nick Wood, who did an incredible job uh, with this presentation, really laying out uh, the, the, the proposal that we made in terms of the deal structure and uh, the benefits, and obviously addressing a lot of the questions that had come uh, from the City Council. So we're going to regroup internally, but as, as Donor mentioned, really this is now an opportunity for us to get out into the community and to really hear what their interests are and to, to really uh, complement the vision that we have put into our proposal to really meet the best uh, uses and, and the best uh, vision uh, for this project that Tempe deserves. And so we're excited about that part. You heard over 200 comments today. Any quick, uh, any things that came to mind, you know, that might be a uh that might go into the project that yeah. you talked about? Mr. Uh, I think that what we heard more than anything was just uh, the wonderful support that we have in this community for everything that we do. As you know, really, we focus on impact, we focus on inclusion, and we focus on innovation. And you heard that resonate today, and clearly it was not only fans of us as a hockey team, but us as an organization. We're really humbled and grateful about that. Today is a great night. They should absolutely be excited. We know we still have a long way to go, and uh, we'll acknowledge that. But tonight's the night to celebrate. This is the first step of something that we know has got a great, great uh, vision and a great opportunity to really be uh, the home that all these fans and our fans in waiting have deserved. And it's just an exciting, exciting night. And we're truly, truly blessed and, and honored and want to thank, again, the, the city of Tempe for this approval. I think it was Vice Mayor Keating that said that it does excite us. I, I only slight twist is that we're here already, right? We're we're at ASU, and we also want to thank the great folks at uh, at ASU, Dr. Crow and his leadership team, for inviting us into the ASU family. But as far as our permanent location, yes, this is the first step. This is incredible, and uh, on behalf of Alex Morello, the Morello family, all of us. It's just truly, truly humbling, and again, we really want to thank the city of Tempe.